Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I got Slim Bean ROM Jelly Bean 4.3 edition okay that is built 2 that is a stable release of this ROM uh, second one okay so uh, let's get into it uh, first of all what we see is the lock screen that is the AOSP lock screen um, pretty standard well you do have this uh, slim logo instead of the lock uh, icon so that's pretty neat now about uh, other things okay first of all what you see here is the Nova launcher which is the default launcher let me tone down the brightness okay this is the default launcher uh, that is Nova launcher you do have the option for the default Android launcher so yeah yeah it comes with two launchers uh, that's neat now what else uh, let's go to settings and about page so uh, in about page you can see it is Android 4.3.1 I have done uh, previously the uh, review of a slim ROM that is for 4.2.2 that is the older Android version so yeah it is pretty much the same but this one is based on newer Android version so it's uh, it has all those features included so that's pretty uh, awesome okay now build number okay you can see slim 4.3 Built to official okay this is official okay now uh, about other features now so something about the rom okay this rom as the name suggests slim rom is a small package rom which has all those if uh, all those basic needs which someone might need but without all those extras like something which would which uh, cyanogen mod or uh, aokp would um, give you those are not present and frankly not many people use that so that's uh, that's the whole vibe about this ROM this is a small package with whatever you need basics so that uh, will turn on someone oh, in this direction so yeah it's pretty neat now advanced settings you have all these features um, widget view picture for the lock screen profiles low battery warning uh, pretty minimal interface tweaks has a bit of tweaks this being minimal doesn't mean that it doesn't have any features it's not a USB ROM but it is a bit more than that but a lot less than Sanjay mode or AOKP so yeah pretty neat uh, LCD density you can set a uh, density it is not a hybrid property okay uh, you just uh, you can set uh, the LCD density to whatever you want you have four options I have currently set it to three uh, for tw uh, 320 which is the default S3 value when you start this ROM uh, after flashing, uh, you will it will be set at 245, so uh, it makes the whole screen look uh, smaller. I, I mean, the font looks smaller. You have a bigger screen. Uh, you will have a greater real estate in, on your screen. So, if you want that, it's pretty neat. Uh, before that, okay. Now, notification drawer. You have all these features: uh, power widget, uh, science and more style widgets. Uh, uh, on the notification here you can have that quick settings panel you do have the option to customize your quick uh, quick settings you can even have that uh, if you don't want that if you can disable that okay you have all these options pretty neat uh, let's see uh, shortcuts it is something of a uh, the slim rom feature you can have uh, custom shortcuts on your uh, status bar here uh, wherever you want it's pretty neat it's pretty, it's pretty useful for those who use it okay now style notification to yourself you can have the transparency transparency set the background so really nice now additional options always show settings menu if you really use the settings page a lot you can have that enabled okay now notification behavior you can have the uh, standard jelly bean features or if you want uh, any of these you can have that high carrier label that is this one uh, the idea of whatever is showing is a carrier label you can hide that show Wi-Fi name it can show this one that is a Wi-Fi name it's pretty neat I guess all uh, ROMs right now have these so it doesn't make much of a difference you do have this view animation which you can see here you saw that right it's pretty neat uh, which I really really love okay you do have recent RAM bar so you can check out whatever is the uh, RAM usage now okay 
now right now it is 479 free so it's well as i said it is a slim rom so you have all those uh, ram for whatever you want to use okay now navigation you can have navigation bar or pi uh, so you do ha you do have the option for slim pi so slim pi is kind of similar to this uh, sanjano aokp pi but uh, it's uh, smaller and it gives the minimal access to whatever you want so it's pretty awesome navigation options again whatever goes into the screen is controlled from there hardware keys you have hardware key binding if you want to change uh, the any of the hardware key bindings you can do it from here so it's too neat um real dark slim is the dark fire i guess okay it makes everything dark you have a holo dark interface so it really turns it on you do you after you use that uh, the whole g app section they all turn black or inverted so you don't need a uh, specialized inverted g app package so it's pretty neat you have slim center now which uh, well is this thing which gives you a ot updater a list of uh, sources or websites you might want to use uh, the OTA installer and Slimizer. Slimizer is a really awesome feature which I really like. Uh, for example, you have two launchers, right? The stock launcher and Nova launcher. If you don't want the stock launcher, you can navigate to that, which would be somewhere here. Home, yes, launcher 2. Okay, you just take it and delete it. So it will be deleted from the system app. You do need a root access for that, so yeah. It will provide that so that's gone now it's only one one launcher so uh, you can delete it from there but be careful with that because well it is rooted and it is deleting something from your system so uh, don't go on deleting uh, whatever is essential if you don't know what you're doing just stay away from it and uh, don't uh, make a huge problem for yourself so it's pretty neat now i guess that is it about the rom as i said this is a really slim rom this is a really uh, feature well i wouldn't say it's a feature rich rom because it doesn't have all those features available in other rom but for those who want that kind of rom it's a gold mine uh, it doesn't have much of a, it doesn't have a lot of features but it's not as bare bones as an aosp so it's really nice you have all these um, settings and all these performance for whatever you really want so it's really nice uh, let me show you guys the boot animation so here is the boot animation uh, just a minimal boot animation with the s or the slim, slim bean raw logo just flashing so it's pretty neat so that is it so yeah as I said, again, Slim ROM is really a Slim ROM. It is the minimal package which you want. Uh, nothing extra, nothing less. Uh, it's an awesome ROM. So, I uh, hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe, share, and uh, like the video if you really found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.